What's up guys, gals? It is I, once again, Joseph Cohen Mason aka Mr. Gamer 990 And today guys, gals, I want to make a top 5 video on my favorite TV shows of all time And this video will be my personal opinion and love for these shows Which I really, really do like a lot Now this list has been composed by me and it is my own list and mine alone and if some TV shows aren't on my list your favorite TV shows aren't on my list then I'm sorry but this is my personal list and mine alone and uh, keep in mind that I won't describe the plot or talk about the plot of these shows except talking about why I love the shows and the aspects to them I like so much and uh, the setting is different because I felt kind of uncomfortable in my uh, room over there next door which is kind of claustrophobic, I wouldn't say claustrophobic but I would kind of say it's kind of uh, small in its uh, size but this room is pretty decent so I'll get right to it and describe to you all my top 5 favorite TV shows of all time but before I do, I want to give two honorable mentions of uh, my of other shows that I like so much. Two honorable mentions, which goes to the HBO TV show Rome and the uh, AMC TV program The Walking Dead. Now, Rome is a TV show I like so much, but it is very flawed, and it's the second season of the show. It skips so quickly in the uh, time period that set in the uh, Roman Empire during the uh, the big the pre uh, the pre rule of uh, Gaius Julius Caesar and uh, his uh, his uh, descendant and uh, Augustus I think his name is Augustus or was it August uh, Caesar something like that but the time period takes place way way before like uh, the Roman Empire, at the birth of the Roman Empire and it's a very good show but the time period skips so fast it is so fast, it lasts for two seasons and that's the only problem with this show it skips way too fast and across the time period I wish it would have taken more time to explore the uh, Roman Empire but the budget was too high I can't understand why they had to uh, cancel the show I can't understand but anyways that's wrong for you. And then we have AMC TV, the AMC TV show uh, The Walking Dead. And The uh, Walking Dead is a show I really love so much, but once again, it's flawed. I mean, it's, ongo it's like an ongoing series, but the uh, second and third season had some problems with them. A lot of problems. Now, the second season is very good and very excellent in terms of the the character, the character development and the way the characters are built up to be these important figures in the Walking Dead TV show and the story in general but the second and third season suffers a lot from nothing much happening and nothing much happens in the show and that is especially the problem in the uh, third season of The Walking Dead because in the third season we get very little happening and when something does happen it is just the most anticlimactic moment we've ever seen in any TV show not the worst by far but it is still just very very unnecessary the way it ended in season 3. I felt like The Walking Dead or season 3 was building up to something very big but it was a big letdown. That's until season 4 came out, season 5 came out and then the show got better and got back on its feet and it is right now among my top 10 favorite shows of all time, top 10. But here is my top 5 favorite movie, uh, sorry, my top 5 favorite TV shows of all time. And let's begin, shall we? At number 5, we have the AMC TV program, Hell on Wheels. And guys, gals, 
You know how much I love cowboys and Indians. I love that kind of story a lot during the Old West. One of the best periods of any uh, period in the history of uh, television, movies, personally for me, because I love exploring the story of cowboys and Indians and uh, like the Civil War and like the, uh, the like everything about colonial America and all that kind of jazz. I love it so much. And you have the, in Helen Wheels, the main character of Colin Bohannon and his partner and friend, Ellen Ferguson, my favorite character of the show by far. Ellen Ferguson is my boy, he's my man. I love Ellen Ferguson, who is played so well by Common, the rapper turned actor Common. And Colin Bohannon is played by Anson Mount, and these two, these two guys are just so great in the show. They are just so great. And my favorite female character is actually a prostitute in the movie. I mean, in the TV show. I'm sorry, I confused the movie for TV show. I don't know why. And my favorite female character of the uh, uh, the show is actually a prostitute played by uh, Robin McLevy. I think her name is Robin McLevy. Yeah, Robin McLevy is playing like a prostitute named Eva. And Eva is a woman I love so much. She's beautiful, sexy, strong, very like, you know, independent. And she understands uh, what she, uh, how to take care of herself. And she understands what she wants. And, and, and she's, at times during the uh, third or second season of Hell on Wheels, she is desperate and she is very like vulnerable, but it's because she's starting to build a new life with a, uh, with a man who she loves so much, that man being Ellen Ferguson, who she has a child with, and that is just so beautiful to watch. But something tragic happens that really, really broke my heart and the, how the uh, bond between Ellen Ferguson and Eva starts to crumble slowly and very slowly and Helen Wheel is a great show I love so much and it is not exactly flawed but it is a damn great show, a very damn great show with little minor flaws to it, I don't know but I really love it so much, okay. At number four, we have the CW Network TV program, Arrow, which I love so much. And I am a huge, huge DC fan. I love Superman. I love Batman. I love Aquaman. I love Wonder Woman. I love The Flash. But I have never, ever, ever been a fan of the Green Arrow. Not once. That is until the TV program, Arrow, came out. And oh my god. <clears throat> Excuse me. This TV program, Arrow, is one of the best shows I've seen because it portrays the Green Arrow in the same light the way Batman was portrayed in the uh, Christopher Nolan movies and how realistic and grounded he was and, and how the Green Arrow is very much grounded. He's known as the uh, Vigilante and the Hood in the first to second season of Arrow. In the third season, he is referred to as the Arrow. and. Uh, I love this TV program a lot. It, it portrays the Green Arrow as a human being and as someone who, who can get hurt, who can be killed at times, and his friends are in danger from the uh, criminals and the scums around them. And I love this show because it's very intense, it's very suspenseful, it's dramatic, it's funny at times, it's very exciting, engaging, the characters are very well realized. I love Arrow and Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen is one of the best characters of any uh, characters I've seen in a, any TV shows, any sh movies in general, and uh, Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell is the Green Arrow. He is the Green Arrow. At number three, we have uh, the HBO TV show Game of Thrones. And guys, gals, I am honestly a huge, 
huge junkie for like medieval fantasy for dragons and mystical creatures and sword fighting and like uh, arrow shooting and flame jerking and I love those kind of uh, things you see in a medieval fantasy setting like this and uh, uh, the Game of Thrones is one of the best TV shows because among the, everything that goes on in this show, from the politics to the, uh, the sword fighting to the, uh, yes, there are sex scenes and nudity in the show, a lot of sex and nudity, which is actually kind of gratuitous at times, but at other times it's quite sexy, but you get the point. And the uh, TV show, uh, Game of Thrones, is one of the best shows I've seen because it really does capture that reality to the medieval fantasy we all love and adore so much like uh, the, the, the ongoing war between the seven kingdoms and the uh, the duality between good versus evil and uh, the moral ambiguity of every character and where they stand in this world I love all that so much and there is no specific main character no main character at all you have the, the Starks you have the Lannisters you have the Boltons you have uh, the Freys you have like uh, uh, the, the Greyjoys, you have a lot of houses in this, uh, in that, this uh, TV uh, program, Game of Thrones, but at the center of it, you have uh, uh, probably my main, my favorite main character of the show, a female main character, a female character I love so much, and her name is Daenerys Targaryen. I love Daenerys Targaryen, also known as Khaleesi, also known as the Mother of Dragons, and Misa. She is one of the best characters I've seen in any TV shows in general. She's, she's a strong woman. She's like a very, a, a very strong, very like a uh, powerful figure in the, the world of Game of Thrones because she has dragons on her side, she has motherfucking dragons, she has a, like a lot of army behind her, she has like a lot of force uh, uh, fighting for her, and she is gonna conquer the Seven Kingdoms by force. I love Daenerys Targaryen. I also love Jon Snow, I love like Arya Stark, I love Ned Stark, long live Ned Stark, oh yeah, I love like Jaime Lannister, I love oh my god Tyrion Lannister, I love Peter Dinklage as Tyrion Lannister, I love that dwarf a lot, I love Tyrion Lannister a lot, he's my homeboy, my homeboy, I love him so much as you. Yeah, sorry about that, I went on a rampage just now, I don't know what kind of rampage that was, but I don't know. But I love Game of Thrones, it's one of the best TV shows I've seen, I really do love it. And please check it out if you can, check it out as soon as you can, please do. Okay, at number two we have the BBC TV program, yes, a BBC TV show from Britain, which I love so much, that show being Luther. Luther is a show which stars uh, my boy Idris Elba. I love Idris Elba so much. Idris Elba as John Luther is one of the best. He's one of the best characters I've, I've seen ever. I mean, honestly, I keep saying that, but I love John Luther a lot. John Luther is one of the best characters I've seen in any TV show in general because he's smart, intelligent, such a badass, he's angry, very like uh, full of rage, full of hatred, he's full of like this obsession with trying to solve crimes, trying to save people, but at the same time he has a lot of heart and soul and I love Idris Elba as John Luther. I have never loved a BBC TV program like this, besides Sherlock Holmes, besides like uh, other TV shows from uh, Britain. I love all those kind of BBC TV programs from Britain, but the standout of this show by far is not John Luther. I love John Luther a lot, but my favorite character of the show is actually another female character I love so much, and her name is... Uh, Alice Morgan, yeah, Alice Morgan is one of the best female characters I've seen in this kind of TV show. This kind of TV show because she's very like sinister, very seductive, very like, you know, uh, crazy and she's very intelligent. 
Alice Morgan is an equal to John Luther in terms of intellect, in terms of being able to play games with him and being able to basically screw with his mind. And I love how her character grows in the series and how she grows into becoming a better character, a stronger character, much like John Luther. And I love this TV show a lot. That TV show being Luther! Luther! Oh yes! At number one, finally, at long last, we have my absolute favorite TV show of all time. That TV show being FX's The Shield. And I love The Shield so much for many reasons. One of those reasons being Vic Mackey. Vic Mackey is played by Michael Chiklis, a very corrupt renegade cop who is such a... This guy is very complex, he's such a bad guy, but at the same time, he's a compelling character, a very compelling, complex character, who you will love so much. Vic Mackey and his gang of the strike team, they may be bad, bad people, but at the same time, they're human. Some of those people in the strike team aren't all bad, and Vic Mackey at the center of the strike team, he is not exactly a bad guy or a good guy. He does what he has to do to protect the streets from the criminal that plague the streets of LA, and he does what he has to do to protect his family, his friends, his family, the strike team, and the police force he's on. Vic Mackey is without question one of the best characters of any TV shows ever. I love Vic Mackey a lot and Michael Chiklis plays Vic Mackey so well. He is so great, believable, compelling, vulnerable and very strong as Vic Mackey. This character is so awesome, so cool, so badass and as corrupt as he may be, as bad as he may be, he is still a character who you, who you can't take your eyes off of. You can't take your eyes off of Vic Mackey. He is just so amazing as this uh, guy. I mean, Vic Mackey, Vic Mackey is a great character, but Michael Chiklis is so amazing as Vic Mackey. I love this character a lot. The Shield is such a great show, guys, gals. It's so awesome, so cool, so much fun. It's, it's very intense, very like disturbing at times, but it is such a great show. You have to watch it at some point in your life. You have to watch it. And there's also another show which is based off The Shield called Baraku. Baraku is a TV show from France, a French TV show which is so great. And Baraku is based off of, uh, it's based off of The Shield in so many ways. And uh, I love Baraku a lot, but The Shield stands way up there on my list of favorite TV shows of all time. I love The Shield so much, and that's about it guys, gals. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. That's about it. Oh, one more thing. Adios, amigos, and au revoir.